G'day, welcome to another video review from Chronicle Chamber. Today we will be reviewing what is in this big box and we will open it up, have a bit of a review, a bit of an open and we will go from there. So this is what they are. The King Comics Superheroes PVC mini figurines. These are in the blind bags. This is what the boxes look like. Um, and then the beauty about, so it's fairly simple packaging. Phantom's fairly prominent. Um, you've got Mr. Walker there, and then you've got the Flash guys, question mark. So fairly simple design, but it's effective. And this is obviously designed to go on top of uh, shopping shop counters so people can look at them. So to open them, there's ways you can make it look display nicely and stuff. But hey, look, most collectors will just want to get the ones out of there and try and keep the box as intact as possible. So the best way to do that is with this front flap here, just pull it out. And then you can see the boxes here. So we'll look at the box. Stephen's already done a demo of an unwrapping. What we will do is, this is going to be the review, so there are the different designs there. So that one that Stephen didn't have a clue what that was, that was King Volton there. So he, Stephen should have looked at the box. We'll go through, we'll open up some of these, we'll get a, um, uh, a set and we will come back and review the actual items. All right, first one open i'll recommend opening them via the bottom because then you can close it and if you want to display it or you want to chuck it away it still looks good first one i have actually opened and got kit walker so i'm one up on steven already poor sod uh i'm not sure if you can focus in on that but purple tie which is cool. The detail is very, very good. So you can see the cheekbones of the Phantom. Uh, no rings on Mr. Walker. Uh, PVC, so it's you know bendable. But details with the with the waves and the jacket and all that is pretty neat. And then it comes with this little neat little uh, base as well. All right. Second one open, and I got Diana. So two for two. You can see Diana there. Um, this is what it looks like them on their little stands. The good thing about them with being fairly flexible is that you can kind of spread their legs to fit on the pegs if needed. Um, so there's Diana. Detail. Not completely sold on her face. But, um, you know, she's got a watch, she's got the creases, the curves, the, the hair. For something that's quite small, the detail is pretty amazing. All right, so I have a complete set of the Phantom, which is what we all want. And I have three left that I haven't opened to get there. And then I am still of the flash ones. I have four and I am missing, which one am I missing? Uh, King Volton, which is one that Stephen had just recently. So these are the doubles here. So they're phantom ones and four flash related doubles as well. So, you know, so in theory, yeah, you will get a complete set and i think you will i don't really care if i don't get a complete set of the flash i've got the five phantoms so let's just focus on these so we'll start off with the purple phantom different pose that's what i love about these is that they're actually different pose these things bases actually match the ones they come with so there's care with that this is the phantom he's not overtly muscly uh the great detail you can see now the rings don't have design on it, it's just a square, um, oh well they're sort of, that one there, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, that has a blob that looks like a skull, but the guns 
are highly detailed. You can sort of see the ears, you can see the muscles, uh, you can see the gun holsters. So that's that one. Devil was a little bit hard to get onto the base because there's three feet that you're going to line up at the same time. But look at those eyes. Look at the teeth, the snarling, um, the hairs. You can see the hairs going up on the back of his back. Uh, he looks like he is ready to pounce. Now, I'm not an animal expert, but he looks mean. He looks like a right size of what a wolf would be to a, a six foot three, four guy is what I assume the phantom would be. Um, and then you've got the blue phantom, almost looks like a slam evil pose from the end of the movie, up on one leg, punching someone with a gun drawn. Uh, cut, there's no gun in that holster, but that's a minor quirk. Um, and, but yeah, so look, got the colours, you can see the skull on the um, belt buckle. Uh, what's actually interesting is the belt buckles are different. I'm not sure if anyone's noticed that, but the belt buckles are different. Obviously, the jocks are different because the colour jocks are different because of that's the design for uh, Scandinavian countries and the rest of the world. But the belt buckle is different, which is rather intriguing. And then we've got Diana and Mr. Walker. Look, these do look cool. These are effective, you know, in a display case or something like this. You know, they will look good in a case like this. You can't fault them. You can't fault the design. Um, a negative would be the fact that I understand they're blind bags and they come in a box. But do they have to come in a box a silver unrecyclable bag and then the base in a, another unrecyclable plastic uh, case. Maybe they could have just come in like that and saved some packaging. You know, minor quibble, uh, but I believe that we all have to be a little bit conscious of the environment and I think boss fights could have maybe been on a bit of a winner or even a, a paper bag that could have... Um, uh, be recyclable, but there's a lot of plastic. Apart from that, look, these came from um, these these came from the United States. They are harder to get into Australia, and that's because I believe there's some licensing issues with the Flash. Um, Minotaur in Melbourne do get them, but they are selling them each box for about twenty eight dollars. I got obviously I got two. Uh, it worked out to be about 14 bucks each uh, after postage and currency exchange. So I got them for half the price as what I would over there, which I think is worth doing. All right, hope you enjoy this review. Go out, get them. Um, you can find them online. They are worth getting. Uh, they look amazing. Obviously, they're not articulated, but they do look pretty cool. Even the Flash ones, even though I'm not a huge Flash fan. Go out, get them. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, happy phantoming.